What's up guys, welcome in and welcome back to my channel if you guys are completely new. Hello, I'm Cecilia Nico. In today's video, we're going to be trying out some new Anastasia products. Anastasia and Norvina dropped some new hot fire bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So I'm going to be swatching them on my skin, trying them out for you guys, and giving you guys my thoughts on these products. I'm also going to be swatching other products as well too that are also in the same category so we can kind of get a little bit of comparison on the products and the things. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right on in to this video. Alright, so the bay, uh... All right, so the eyeshadow is done. I used the Lunar Beauty Facelift Eyeshadow Palette, and I used a couple of the shades out of this palette. Ooh. I used a couple of shades out of this palette. Um, so we're gonna get into the Anastasia products. And I think I'm gonna start with the cream bronzes first, because I kinda like to, I wanna underpaint. So they sent me over two bronzes. They sent me over the shade Chestnut and Cool Brown. These retail for $35. There are seven shades within the collection, and I think I have the last two. I want to say I have the last two, or maybe, yeah, I think I have the last two in the collection. Um, I did watch Nima Tang's video just to kind of get an idea of this particular product, but the way she does her complexion, the way I do my complexion is a lot more different. But nevertheless, um, she had one other shade as well too which was lighter than chestnut um but I, I think i have the last two shades of course so i'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch test of these on this side of the cheek and then i'm gonna swatch another part that i definitely love to do this technique with on this side of the cheek so upon putting my hand in it is very creamy it's very 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 wet like formula Oh, that's deep enough. That is chestnut right there on my cheek. That is definitely giving me depth. I can vibe with this. Then we're gonna go ahead and give Cool Brown a little swatch. Okay, contour. Hey, how you doing? This. This is some depth. This is some depth. This is some depth. And I ain't mad at it. So I'm going to compare them to the Tantor from Huda. I'm also going to compare them to the Fenty as well too because those are also cream products. And I just want to kind of get an idea of everything within this particular category. So let me open up my new one in the shade 10. Completely brand new. Creamy formula. Just, just similar to the other one. I'm going to swatch it here. So that's Tan from Huda. And here's Rich. Here's a swatch of Rich next to Cool Brown. Alright, so Espresso and Ebony. Here's Ebony. And here's Espresso. Wow. Okay, Anna. I see that you're very much in correlations with everything that is also on the market. So this definitely, this definitely gives depth as if it was Huda, but it gives warmth as if it is Fenty. Cause I feel like tan from Huda is a little bit more cool tone. But this definitely gives more of a warmth. This definitely gives more of a sculpting comparing these two. Okay. I'm here for this. I'm excited to actually give this a go. So I'm going to do some underpainting. I'm going to uh, uh, use the shade Chestnut to sculpt out the face and then probably add a little bit of Cool Brown for depth just to kind of get an idea of the product under foundation. And then we're gonna take a look at that and then if I need to add more, I definitely have the ability to add more. Probably add more chestnut on top, but I'm gonna start with that underneath and then build a look from there.
All right, so I got carried away and I forgot to put on the cream blushes and highlighter. So I received two blushes. I received the shade Pink Dahlia, which is this one here. Pink Dahlia is described as a rose petal pink. Let's do a swatch. That's Pink Dahlia. And then I got Soft Rose. Soft Rose is described as a deep rosy pink, which is probably what I'm going to go with. That is Soft Rose. These retail for the price point of $32, which is pretty pretty decent price point. And then for highlighters, I got Cognac Diamond. Cognac Diamond is uh, Kanye Diamond is described as a glistening copper bronze with diamond reflex. Ooh. That might be the one. Then I did receive hot sand. I know uh, Nima didn't get hot sand, but I received hot sand. This is hot sand. That's pretty too. Hot sand is a glistening rose gold with diamond reflex. Then I also got Peach Caramel. Peach Caramel, why is this? Oh, this is a blush. So Peach Caramel is a deep warm peach. <gasps> That's the one. That's the one, and I might end up doing a combination of the two highlighters, but deep peach caramel? <laughs> so I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. This is the M554. I'm just gonna use this instead of the actual brush with it. And I'm just gonna. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, so highlighter, I'm gonna start with Cognac Diamond first. Cognac, Cognac Diamond, cute. Let's see what Miss Hot Sand is going to give. So the highlighters themselves retail for $34. And honestly, these are worth it as well too. These are very much worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the face. I'm going to bronze using my Glamazon bronzer and leader, just a little bit on the cheek. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look here. I am actually in love with everything that I put on. Majority of the products that I did use in this look is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will leave that all down in the link down below so you guys can check out anything or pick up anything that I use in this video that interests you. But my honest thoughts and opinions on this launch is like, this is the best launch that Anastasia came out with in 2021. Honestly, truly, this is the best launch that came out this year from Anastasia. I feel like she listened to what what we wanted on the market. She gave us bronzers, although they're not the powder bronzers that we really definitely want to see expanded. She gave us cream bronzers that is definitely expanded and deep enough to reach a wide range of people. Um, 
the bronzer that I definitely do love the most is the shade Chestnut. This is definitely my new go-to everyday bronzer. It's definitely very similar in consistency towards the Huda Tan Tour. And I use the heck out of tan because I love the consistency and the color of that. But I think I really do love the color of this a lot more than I do love the color of tan from Huda. I feel like this has a little bit more of depth. Um, saturation is about the same. Blendability is about the same. Price point is about the same. So, depending on what you want and who you want to, you know, spend your money with, you have those two options. Keep in mind that the Anastasia collection has a two uh, has two more extra bronzers to pick from. So their range is a lot more larger than Huda. The blush cream sticks and highlighting cream sticks, these are also a hit as well too. Like I said, these retail for price 32 or 34, depending on if it's a blush or cream. Um, these retail for 35, if I didn't mention that in the video. But nevertheless, these are a bop. Well, the, the three that I did put on was a bop. Um, peach caramel, my girls of color, my melanin queens and kings out here that loves a nice neutral nude blush that has like a peach peachy pink undertone peach caramel she's 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 top tier top tier top tier cognac diamond top tier top tier and then of course hot sand she's up there She's cute. She's a real cute color. Would I use it every day? No. Honestly, I won't use it every day because it's a little bit brightening. Uh, as you guys can see, that, that high reflecting moment on my cheek is from Hot Sam. Uh, but Cognac Diamond is top tier. Top tier. Will I incorporate these products into my routine? Yes. I think these are going to be some of my new 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 favorites maybe i know for a fact that uh peach peach caramel is going to be a new favorite i know that for a fact and then chestnut is like right there as well too um so you probably will see these in another video real soon because they're just that good so i'm gonna go ahead and in this video here i hope my review or my tutorial was definitely insightful for you guys to be able to make a decision on if you guys want to pick up this products for uh, the, any of these products from the collection um, I definitely say they're definitely worth it I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I will see you guys in the next video peace guys love you bye yeah, I like me. I can only mean one thing. ever since I left the city